Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 1 of The Mist. When I heard they were making a show based on The Mist, I was like, um, really? Out of, out of all the... Okay, wouldn't be my first choice, probably, but I'll roll with it. I haven't read the book, I really enjoyed the movie with Thomas Jane, Although, the last time I watched it was like a million years ago, a full million. So the show tells the story of a town that gets shrouded in this mysterious thick mist that kills people. In the mist, the movie, you basically have Thomas Jane and his family trapped in a grocery store and the mist is outside and there are like monsters in it, like giant insect style monsters that rip people apart and inside the grocery store, people start panicking, they form groups, they turn on each other, details about their past come to light and so on. The show is a bit of a different take on the same premise, the mist is still super dangerous and people who get caught in it for too long die, but not necessarily by insect monster. The mist also plays with people's minds. I'm not going to say too much about it to avoid spoilers. Also, the story takes place across the whole town. When the mist rolls in, after people quickly realize that if you stay out, it kills you, they form groups at different locations, the people in the church, the people in the mall, the police station, and not Thomas Jane and his family get separated, and they try to find the way back to each other. So like any story about a disaster or a bigger thing that's happening, there are two paths to take. One, tell the story about the disaster, about every about whatever terrible thing is happening, and two, tell a more personal story about the people this terrible thing is happening to. Option two is usually more interesting, which is probably why we see more of it, and that's what we have here in The Mist. The show digs pretty deep into the Copeland family, Eve Copeland, Alex Copeland, and not Thomas Jane Copeland. The show walks you through the family troubles they're having, all the small town gossip, how they're struggling with their jobs, and as we're learning about all of this, the mist rolls in and people start dying. At which point, of course, the show also shows you how people go crazy when they're scared and how quickly they can turn on each other. I mostly found this show frustrating, because when it's good, it's pretty good, it's a solid show, it tells some interesting stories, there are some conflicted characters in this show that I wanted to learn more about, so when it's good, it's good. It's not amazing, but not every show is going to be the best show ever. It, it can be a good time, but the rest of the time, it was just going through the motions. There are moments of good storytelling, good character development, intense moments where characters fight for their lives, but between those moments, the show is just like... The show does the things that you would expect, characters say and do whatever the obvious thing is, the person you know is going to die obviously dies, you think they're going to use the fact that the mist can mess with your mind in a cool way, and they almost do, but they don't, really, not really. There's a hint to the origin of the mist, which is exactly what you would think it would be, then something cool happens, or a character has some interesting internal struggle, and it feels like the show is about to take things to a deeper level, and then no, it just goes back to the most standard dialogue and story progression imaginable. If everything in this show was on this flat, mediocre line, I probably would have just said that it was okay, like it's fine, you should probably skip it and that's it, I probably would have watched it and then not even do a review about it. But it's because the show could have been pretty cool, it could have been better, and it shows you that, that I found it frustrating. So I had stuff to say about it, so I came here to the internet where stuff is said. The performances in this show are okay, they're fine, I really don't think the actors were given much to work with most of the time. Alyssa Sutherland, for example, who plays Eve, she's fantastic in Vikings. Here? You know what, just bottom line, should you watch it? Um, no, not really, it's a perfectly average show, it never gets to a point where there's something special about it, and again, not every show needs to be The Sopranos or Breaking Bad or The Wire, there are so many things that can make a show fun or interesting or, you know, just generally worth watching. Okay, and I also just read that it was cancelled, so no season two, so it's not worth the investment of your time. 
I now officially regret having watched this show. So what about you? Probably you didn't watch this show, but if you did, what were your thoughts about it? And what other obscure book or movie would you like to see made into a crappy like guilty pleasure TV show. If you're gonna be talking about spoilers, that's fine. No one should really go watch this show now that it's been canceled. Use spoiler tags out of decency, but yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and TV time. You can also join our discord server where we chat about TV and it's a lot of fun. And I have to talk really fast before my battery runs out. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, Welcome, I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community, come talk about TV with us, it's a lot of fun, subscribe to the channel, in any case, keep binging, and I will see you in the mist!